everyone welcome again to my channel I hope everyone is doing well today I am going to go ahead and show you how to this video I'm gonna be doing in two steps so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a delicious pineapple mango sea bass fish I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make that and the fish that I'm using is a wild caught sea bass that I'm using here and this is what the fish looked like. I went ahead and I washed it with some lime and some lemon juice with some salt. And that is what the fish looks like. So it's a wild caught sea bass fish that I'm using. And you can find this in any um, grocery store like Casco, BJ's. I'm not getting paid for advertising. So I'm just telling you where you can go ahead and find that. And what I'm making is a pineapple mango marinade for this fish and into my bowl over here I have some mangoes that I chopped up nicely here and I have some pineapple and into my plate over here I have my seasoning that I will be needing which I have some parsley some sweet bell peppers some onion scallion habanero pepper some garlic and some thyme that I'm going to be using so first thing we're going to do is to go ahead and make this marinade. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this marinade. And what I'm going to do with this marinade, I am going to marinate my fish and I am going to let it sit into my refrigerator overnight. And tomorrow, that's when I am going to be making the fish for you. So right now what we're going to do is just make the marinade. Go ahead and marinate our fish. I'm going to place it into my refrigerator. And then I'll go ahead and make this fish for you. Okay, so what I have over here. I have my little chopper. And what I'm going to do with my chopper here. I am going to add all of my seasoning. Which I have here. So I'm going to add my parsley my bell peppers, onion, my habanero pepper, my garlic, all that good stuff I'm going to be adding here into, oh and I also have some ginger, let me cut this ginger up a little bit, take a chopped up nicely into my marinade here, so I have some ginger here too, all of it which I'm going to put into my chopper here and I am going to be adding my mangoes and my pineapple now I will be adding some olive oil and let's go ahead I'm going to take some of my pineapple out for now until it's done and then we'll add it back Give it some room here to blend. Okay, set that aside. Set my fish aside and let's start blending this. And this is a very easy marinade. Let's start blending this. Go ahead and add the remaining. Let's go ahead and continue to blend this. look at all that goodness there look how delicious that is and this is what we're going to take and marinate our fish so first let's move these away and then I'll come back and show you how to marinate the fish 
Okay guys, so let's go ahead and marinate our fish and we are not going to be using all of this marinade. What I'm going to be doing is store this into a nice airtight container and freeze it. So next time when I want it marinate, look how beautiful that is. Look at look how beautiful done that is. Look at that. I will have my marinade to use. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit on my fish here. Just like that. That's enough. And to my fish, let's add some fish seasoning. And some garlic powder. Also, I am going to be adding some Old Bay seasoning, not a lot, just a little bit, just like that, and a little bit of Miss Dash, just a little bit too, because it's not a lot of fish, just like that, and just a sprinkle of Cajun seasoning just like that now I am going to be adding some turmeric because I always like to add turmeric into my meals turmeric is very good for you so just a little bit of turmeric and what we're going to do now we are going to go ahead and mix this I'm going to be adding just a few drops of olive oil here and what we're going to do now we're going to go ahead and mix all of this seasoning into the fish here make sure all of it make sure you have nice clean hands when you're doing this so you're going to mix all of this seasoning nicely here into the fish And this is smelling so good guys and it's look at that deliciousness there look at that you're gonna make sure that all that fish is fully mixed in to that seasoning and we are going to take a ziplock bag let me wash my hands for a second okay we're going to take our ziplock bag and we are going to add all of our fish and seasoning into that ziplock bag there Just like that. And we wanted to make sure that all this marinade gets into this bag here. We want all of that marinade, every drop of it. And what you're going to do now, you're going to take your bag. And you're going to make sure all that air from the bag is out and you're going to seal your bag. And you're going to make sure that all that marinade gets all over the fish nicely there. Just like that. And you're going to put this into your refrigerator overnight the marinade you're going to put this into your refrigerator just like that and you're going to let this marinade overnight into your refrigerator and tomorrow that's when we're going to go ahead and grill it up so you see how I marinate my fish and this is sea bass that I'm using. So I marinate my fish with some pineapple mango marinade. And you went ahead and see how I make that marinade. Look how delicious that marinade is. So you're going to go ahead and whatever you have, make sure you don't use any dirty spoon in it. I'm going to put this into a little Ziploc bag. And I will freeze this because this can be used 
for another dish. I could use that on chicken or any other dish that I have. So I will go ahead and I will place my fish into my refrigerator overnight. I will come back and show you how to start grilling these with some nice string beans. Okay, and this is the remainder that I have left here of my marinade. So what I'm going to do, I will freeze this. And another day, I can make something with this, guys. So this is very good. You can go ahead and freeze it so nothing go to, go to waste. And I am going to go ahead and place my fish into my refrigerator. Tomorrow, I will come back and show you how to make it on the grill. Okay? Um, yesterday, I went ahead and I show you how to marinate my fish with my pineapple and mango marinade. And it's been marinated in my refrigerator overnight which I took out 45 minutes ago and I have it in my bowl over here nicely marinated there so we're going to be making some fish some pineapple mango fish and with that I am going to be doing some yellow rice vegetable yellow rice with some sausage which I have over here some nice chicken sausage I'm going to be making my yellow rice with also, I am going to be doing some steamed vegetables, some cabbage and some carrots. Also, I am going to be doing some steamed string beans. And we are going to be frying some bananas. Actually, some plantains. We are going to be frying some plantains, some sweet plantain. So the first thing we are going to do is to get started with our rice. And what I have into my plate over here... I have some scallions, some onions, some basil, um, some parsley, some bell peppers chopped up there nicely. Over here I have some chili pepper and some garlic. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to get started with our rice. So over here, into my pot, I have just... A teaspoon and a half of olive oil that's heating up nicely there we are going to go ahead and start with our rice and then we will continue with the other stuff so first let's go ahead and start with our rice and into my rice I'm making yellow rice vegetable yellow rice I'm gonna be using some chicken stock to flavor my rice so I will be using some chicken stock there so we're making today vegetable yellow rice with some sausage, some steamed vegetables, and some sweet plantains, okay? So into my pot over there, I have my oil that is nicely heating up. First, let's go ahead and start with our sausage. Let's get this tied up nicely here. And you want to fry your sausage on nice high heat. So we're going to get this nicely fried up here. I'm going to let this brown up a little before I start adding my seasoning and my vegetables. I'm going to let that brown up a little there. So when my rice is steaming, we're going to go ahead and start with our vegetables and our plantains. So yesterday, you did see where I seasoned. I make my marinade with my pineapple and mango and all my sweet peppers, bell peppers and stuff like that. I went ahead, I seasoned my fish. And this is sea bass that I'm using for the fish. I went ahead and I seasoned my fish. And I placed it into my refrigerator overnight. So today, we're actually making the meal. So we're doing some yellow rice with some nice vegetables and sausage. Then we're going to go ahead and make our plantains and steam some nice vegetables to go with that. Okay, so to my sausage there, let's add some scallions, some bell peppers. Let's add our bell peppers here. Because it's a vegetable rice that we're making with some onions. So you have to get your vegetables in.
We're going to add some garlic. And give this a nice sauce here. Look how lovely this is looking up already. Look at that. Nice sausage with some nice onions, scallions, sweet peppers. I'm going to let this fry up nicely here before we add our rice and our liquid. To my vegetables, I'm going to go ahead and add one pack of Maggi. So I'm going to go ahead and add this. Give this a nice sauce and the smell is so delicious. It is smelling so good already here. So I'm going to let that fry up nicely here. Okay, let's go ahead and check our sausage here. Let me show you what it looks like. Look at all that goodness here. Look at that. Okay, so at this point, we are going to add our rice. And I have two cups of nicely washed rice here. So let's go ahead and add our rice here. And to our rice, we are going to add some sazon to give it that nice rich color. So we are going to be adding about two packs of sazon. And also, we are going to be adding some turmeric. You know I like turmeric, so I'm going to be adding some turmeric here, not a lot, just a little, to actually finish. About quarter teaspoon. And let's give this a nice sauce now. Make sure all this goodness fry up nicely into this rice here. Let me bring my camera in so you can see what it looks like. Look at all that goodness there. So to that, we are going to be adding some of the chicken stock. And I am going to be listing all of these ingredients into my description screen. So you will know the amount that I'm using. The measurement for everything that I'm using. Let's give this a nice toss here. This is a 32 ounce chicken broth that I'm using. One quart chicken broth that I'm using here. And you always want it to get a perfect rice. You always want it to make sure that your liquid it's about one and a half inches above your rice. That's how you get a perfect, perfect rice. Nice and loosey rice. So you always wanted to make sure that that liquid is one and a half inches to two inches above your rice. Okay, I am going to go ahead and taste for salt. Right now, that has perfect salt, so I'm going to be adding one more pack just to give it a nice color. Some black pepper. I'm going to be adding some black pepper here. You can add as much as you like, as little as you like. And I am going to be adding one tablespoon of butter into the rice. Let's give this a nice toss. 
and some garlic powder. I'm going to be adding some garlic powder here. And let's give this a nice toss here. Look how beautifully this rice looks. Look at that beautiful rice here. Okay, so what you're going to do now, you are going to cover your pot and lower your stove to medium heat and let this steam until all that liquid is evaporated and that's when your rice is going to finish. So you're going to lower your stove to medium low heat, cover your pot and let this cook until all that liquid is evaporated. So what I'm going to do, I am going to put this pot to my other burner and bring that bar, um, pot over here so we can start with the next um, part of this dish, okay? So bear with me. Okay, so our rice is on, cooking up nicely there. Now we're going to go ahead and start with our vegetable. So what I'm going to be doing with this vegetable, I am not going to be steaming it. I'm going to be stir frying these vegetables and I will show you how to do that. So into my pot over here, I have one teaspoon of olive oil. So I am going to go ahead and add one stick of, um, one tablespoon of butter into my oil here. And I'm going to let that come to a nice melt here into my oil. So I have a teaspoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter into my oil here. So I'm going to let this come to a nice high heat and then we will start with our vegetable. And we are going to be doing some sweet ripe plantains and our fish. Now I'm going to be showing you that next. Okay, so my oil is nice and hot there and I did not steam my string beans. So I'm going to be adding my string beans first into my oil with my onions. I'm going to be adding the onions in a little while. So I'm going to let the string beans saute up here nicely for about 3 to 4 minutes before I add my other veggies. So I don't want my veggies to be mushy. So I'm going to let this saute it up nicely there. What I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and add some mustache, which have all that good seasoning, and a little bit of black pepper, and one teaspoon of vegetable bouillon. So we're using chicken bouillon into our rice. And we're using the vegetable bouillon into our vegetable here. Give this a nice sauce. This is going to be such a delicious sauteed vegetable. I'm going to let this fry up nicely there. Next minute or so, we're going to go ahead and add our onions. The string beans is a little harder than the other vegetable and that is why I added the string beans first. You want to get a little jump start on the string beans before you added your cabbage and carrots because the carrots cut very thinly so it's only going to take a minute. Also the cabbage only going to take about two minutes. Okay, so our string beans been on now. Let's add our onions and our garlic. Add our chili pepper. Let's go ahead and give this a nice sauce here. I'm going to let this fry for an additional minute. Then we will add our carrots and 
our cabbage. Okay, so let's check on our string beans here. Let me bring my camera in so you can see what it looks like. Look how beautifully that is frying. Look at that. Okay, so right now what we're going to do, we are going to add our carrots and our cabbage. And we're going to give this a nice big sauce. For that, we are going to be adding some garlic powder. Give this a nice sauce here. And we're going to let this saute it up nicely for about two minutes. An additional two minutes. Turn our stove off. And our veggies are finished. Look how beautifully that is looking. Look at that. So after two minutes, I am going to turn my stove off. Because I don't want my veggies to be mushy. I just want it to be a little tender, but not mushy. You're going to treat your vegetable the same way you will treat your pasta. You don't want your pasta to be mushy. You just want it to be al dente. The same way you're going to treat your vegetables. So after two minutes, I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And then we will start with the next part of this dish. Okay, so let's go ahead and check on our rice. Oh, wow. And look how beautifully done this rice is. Look at that. Look at that rice. Only have about a minute more. Look how delicious this rice is. Nice and loose. Look at that. So the rice only have about a minute more. I am going to let it continue to steam for about a minute. And then we'll go ahead and turn that off. In the meantime... Over here, I have some oil, which I'm going to start heating up nicely there. And we are going to get started with our plantains. So let's go ahead and get started with our plantains here. I'm going to bring my camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, I am going to take the top and the bottom off of my plantains. And I am going to put a little slit right down to the bottom, from top to bottom. Take my knife and just roll it. And all that skin is going to come off nicely, just like that. And that's how you peel a plantain. So you're going to take your top and your bottom off, the head and the tail of the plantain. Put a slit right down. Open up your plantains. And... It will nicely peel just like that. And I always like to get plantains this color because it's very form inside. Even though it's this color, it's very form. And those are the type of plantains that I like to use. So I am going to peel another one here and show you. See how easy it is to peel the plantains? Okay, so let me show you now how I am going to cut these plantains. So what I'm going to do, I am going to cut it into half and then I will cut it right down about three or four pieces, just like that. Right down, just like that. And that's how I, I am going to cut these plantains and fry them. When I come back, I will show you how to start frying these plantains. Okay, so my rice is finished. My vegetable, my steamed vegetable is finished. I am going to go ahead and fry my plantains and the last thing I am going to do is my fish which is not going to take long so that is why I leave my fish for the end. So that's the last thing I am going to do is to cook my fish at the end. Next I'm going to be doing here 
is continue to peel my plantains and start getting these fried up. I will show you when I come to that step. My oil is heating up nicely there, so bear with me. Okay guys, our plantain and our oil is nice and hot there. Let's go ahead and drop these easy into the pan. Be very, very careful when you're laying these down into your pan. Don't want to get burned with your hot oil. And you're going to let these fry a medium high heat. Gonna let these fry until they're nice and darkened. And then I will come back and show you the next step. So right now our rice is finished, our plantain is fried, and our steamed vegetable is finished. So the last thing we have to cook after our plantain is our fish. And that is the last thing I'm gonna cook is my fish because that doesn't take long at all. So Right now we're cooking our plant in here. We're going to fry these up nicely. So today we're making vegetable rice, vegetable yellow rice, with some sweet plantains, some sea bass fish, and some steamed vegetables. So my plant in is frying up nicely there. I will come back and show you the next step. Okay, so my plantain fried up nicely there. Let's start taking them out. Lay them onto your plate here so it can drain nicely. And these are frying up beautifully here. And look how beautifully done these are. Look at that. Look at that delicious sweet plantains. So let's go ahead and add another set. Nice and gently. Be very careful with this oil when you're frying your plantain. Plantains are especially sweet plantains. They're kind of slippery. So be very, very careful. Don't want to get burned with this hot oil. Okay, I'm going to let that continue to fry, and we will do the same. Each side will fry for about two minutes until it's nice and darkened, just like this one here. Look how beautifully done that is. Look at that. Okay guys, so our last set of plantain is frying there. So our plantain is completely fried up nicely here. So our rice is finished, so our plantain is completely fried up here nicely, look at that, look how beautiful that is. And our rice is finished, our steamed vegetables are finished, so now we're going to go ahead and start with our fish. So let's go ahead and start with the fish as soon as I take out this last set of plantain here, we're going to start with our fish. And like I said, the fish is not going to take long. So that is the reason I leave the fish for last because that is not going to take much time at all. And yesterday I show you how to marinate the fish. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and start with our fish. So right now I have my fish nicely marinated here. We are going to start with our fish. So into our pan here, we're going to put our pan a nice medium heat there. And we are going to add some butter into our pan here. Because we're making our fish on the stove in a nice buttery sauce here. These are sea bass fish. I'm going to let my butter come up nicely there. The nice heat. And what we're going to do, we're going to take our fish and nicely lay it into our pan here. 
with those nice butter. You're going to layer your fish just like that. And you are going to cover your pan. You are going to cover your pan and let that cook into that nice buttery sauce there for a few minutes before you go ahead and start coating with the butter. So I place it into my nice butter there and I cover my pan on nice medium heat and I'm going to let that cook on one side for about four to five minutes. Then I'll go ahead, toss it around and start coating the other side with that butter. Okay, so I will come back and show you that fish does not take a very long time to cook. So my fish was nicely marinated with all that pineapple marinade that I did last night. So it's soaked for 24 hours. My fish was marinated. So now I'm steaming my fish into butter sauce. So bear with me. I will go ahead and show you the next step. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and check on our fish. And this is looking so good. Oh my goodness. This is looking so lovely. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the butter sauce and start basing my fish with the butter sauce. Look how beautifully that fish is guys. Look at that. You do not want to overcook your fish. So I'm cooking my fish in a butter sauce. Look how delicious that looks. Look at that. So my fish been on now for about five minutes. I went ahead and I gave it a toss. I turned it over. So I'm just coating it with my butter sauce here. And this fish only have about two to three minutes more and it will be completely finished. So next two minutes, I am going to go ahead and turn my stove off. I will plate it for you and let you see what it looks like. And there you have it guys, a nice, delicious, homemade, yellow vegetable rice with some steamed vegetable, some nice, buttered, simmered sea bass, and some sweet plantains. Look how delicious this looks guys. Look at this dish. Look at that. Look how beautifully done this is. If you like this video guys, please give it a thumbs up. On the right hand corner of the screen there is a notification bell. You could go ahead and click on that so you will not miss out on any of my video. Today I bring you a delicious homemade yellow rice with some vegetables, some steamed vegetable, sea bass, buttered sea bass, and some sweet plantain. Please guys, if you want to support my channel, the best way to support my channel is to like and share guys. Like and share on all your social media, your friends, your family, whoever you have contact with. Like and share my video guys. That is the best, best way to support my channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.